Hello guys and girls, voices from the dark here, welcome back to the savior of Skyrim with Mimir Many Life standing here under the northern lights with Belrand and Barbas and Barbas's butt. It is an entity worthy of its own collider, it feels like sometimes, an enormous one at that. But enough about his posterior, today! We are gonna do things. I promised a dock day in the last one for Solitude, but it wasn't really that much of a dock day, really, when we think about it. But we do have some things we want to do just outside of Solitude. One of which is the Solitude Lighthouse, where they're guiding in the boats, keeping everything safe. And while we can't progress too far in this quest, because we end up killing someone we don't want to kill yet, we are going to perhaps a bit mischievous, you know? Let's see then. <gasps> well, that was easy. Alright, return to Jari Ra. We will do that in due time. Yep, Belran, nothing happened at the top of the tower. Don't worry, your little mercenary heads. Then, there is another woman we wanted to talk to. We do want to talk to Vittoria Vici. Important that we get this squared away soon but she is going to be situated along the docks well when she's not in town i believe she goes to the docks we will see return to jari raw down at the docks we also have the silver garnet ring that we gotta steal so that's something to keep in mind to get our stealing pants on other than that we are going to explore around solitude and me thinks there might be a bit of wolf skull cave why not? Hello. Nice ship you got here. Oh, is that cabbage? Oh, looks like that was his personal stash. The Corsairs aren't too happy. All right, gang. And by gang, I mean, all right, Flamey. I left all my friends behind. That's okay. I can still fight on my own. Just with a summoned spectral fire entity. That helps. It helps the odds. There we go. There's Barbus, though. That, that means we're, we're good. We will be all right. And the ghost wolf of Belrand. Maybe that wolf, too. Has... Well, that wolf's gone. All right. I was going to say it has some significance to Belrand, that it's tied to his, his tragic past somehow, but I don't know. Belrand never talks to me about it. I guess I never ask him, so it's my fault, too. All right, mister, let's, let's put you, let's put you to bed. Let's make you sleep so that I can raid this. Somebody did remind me, ooh, ragged trousers. As tempting as that is, I'm gonna let him be. That if we're looking for tomatoes, we might wanna check some more barrels. And that is an excellent idea. If I find a barrel on this ship and I find a tomato in it, I will shout you out. Juniper berries, no, it's not there. What about these barrels? Oh, that's already empty. So, off to a bad snowberries? Not quite. Lavender. Well, that was worth. Oh, there's so many barrels. Oh, no. All right. But if I find tomatoes, it's all worth it. Just you wait. Wheat, three. Green apples. Carrots. Okay, we're, we're starting to get there. Over in the vet. Skuma. All right. Don't mind if I do. Carrots. Potatoes, that's pretty cool. Green apples, all right. Was a close one. Dainty Slodes. Let's see just how dainty it really is. All right, fur, shovel. Anybody down here? There we go, some Corsairs. Why don't you meet with my fire elemental? Have a nice chat. Uh, Firebase pond, firebase pond. Um, that you could, you're not hot enough, so I summoned some, some like that, some like that. I'm turning up the, the temperature in, in this place because it's so. Is that cheese? That is cheese. This Corsair looks like she found the perfect spot, like she was meant to be here. I'm happy for her. It's good when we find our place in the world. I'm gonna leave the cabbage. I'm not as excited about it. Mr. Corsair, have 
Tell me where the potatoes, uh, tomatoes are and you will not get hurt. That's like the fourth time I've mistook potatoes for tomatoes. You would think those would be quite separate things. <gasps> Hold on, is that... You see that in there? I think that's a tomato in the bowl. Oh, it's finally coming together. Wait, who are we attacking now? You, you killed your own dog? All right, that's... That's something. I guess he's learned from the best. Nordic Mace? Is that a first? Dude, that looks freaking wonky. Uh, yeah, I'll take a Nordic carrying too much to be able to... Bellrand! How are you? Ah, just kidding. Ah, just kidding. Want a Nordic Mace? Nice. We'll take that. Alright, still preferring the glass. <gasps> it's here. Mwah. Not in the barrel, but I'll take it. Oh! Oh! There's so much singing their lungs out. Mister! Say hello to Flamey while I go searching. What we got here? Singular gold piece. Nice comfy beds. No time for sleeping though. We got serious business going down on this ship. They just docked at the wrong port is all. They were in the presence of Mimir. He saw a map marker. I've never been on this boat. Is it clearable? Well, <laughs> regardless, it's getting it's getting cleared one way or another. I can tell you that much. <sighs> Flame in the front, Barbus in the back. Companion at a useless distance. It's just kind of how it should be. Oh boy. Oh boy. He actually can kill me. So let's not get killed by the guy who can kill me. Bellrand, why are you upstairs? What are you trying to do here? Frost spell? Alright. Go for it. Ooh! Nice hit. Alright. I'll give credit where it's due. Alright, I don't have vegetable soup and I'm too I'm too cheap to, to drink it. Even though I just made a huge batch, I don't wish to consume any of it. That's a problem. Also, I need more souls. <sighs> Man. Life's hard being the savior of Skyrim. Tell you what. Here we go. Oh. No. Hey, Barbus. Can... No. No, Barbus. Thank you. What is it that I said about his butt? Look at this. Look at this. It's ridiculous. Now then. Let's see. There was a chest over here. I saw as much. Alright. Gold portion of vigorous stamina. Steel arrow. I have more than enough torches. It's it's not Marina would roll over and I, mean, I guess she's not Marina would not approve. But it has to be done. At least in Cyrodiil, they have this technology which lets them make torches that don't weigh anything. It's not how it works here. Ah yes. A depth chest. Look at this. What can I say? Cling cling. What can I say? Maybe he's born with it. Or maybe it's Maybelline. Who knows? Potion of health, potion of regeneration, draw the strength. I like the ebony bow, but it's... I'm not a hoarder. Okay, something went down. Something went down. So, oh, that was a baked potato. I was fooled since it was upside down. Potion of regeneration. How could I though? Oh! You would think these guys, being on this tiny ship, would come rushing when they hear their friends dying. But no, they kind of just stick to their own corners and just kind of hope the trouble goes over. And honestly, relatable. But that's not how it works, first mate. Dainty slowed footlocker key. Strong box. Fall the Amethyst. Death bell. Ooh. Cleared. Garnet, 100 gold and a potion of extreme stamina. Would you look at that? Stone of Arenzia. Death bell. Dance in fire, volume 6. Good volume. Hey, there you are, Bell. <laughs> Did you see how Kim ranning? Ranning? Did you come ranning, Bellrend? There we go. Thank you very much. Can you tell it's been a long day at work? But it is no matter. What? Was, was that that wolf howling or was, was that real life? 
I don't think there's any wolves nearby, so it must have been must have been that. Alright. With that, that should be dainty slowed cleared. Excellent. Now, let's take a little look at our journal. The man who cried wolf. Wolf skill caves a little bit out of town, but it is somewhere we could set our sights on. I just want to get a couple of things done down at the docks. Possibly do the stealing immediately, or maybe we go do Wolf Skull Cave because we will have to return to town for the next side quest in the chain to initiate either way. But morning has come and we spent it slaying. That's how we like it. Wolt! Let's make our way to Solitude though. Got a great view. Coming in from a rather unorthodox. Angle. I, I can't say I really spent much time around here, and that's kind of the beauty of the no fast travel too. The fact that you get to walk new roads. Because normally you might exit the dungeon and be like, oh, gotta go back. Fast travel to the other side of the world. But sometimes you gotta... This is probably not the best. Because that mean, this means I have to go down. I'm, I guess there's really no good way here. You either go through there or around there, so this would be better. Alright, we'll see Vittoria Vici. Moves down. Just for some reason have it in my head that she's gonna be by the warehouse. We will see. This is a impressive structure to look up at. Like this must be the same feeling that like a fox has when it like or a rat when it skitters between Mimir's legs and just looks up. Like this is this is the scale uh, of things, I would say. Yeah, it feels about right. And there's like why is there like a hanging it's, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. They're they're keeping up. Belran, you can put down the the frost, or is that summon it? It's, regardless, he's he's just ready for battle. He knows what's coming. Well, the skies are darkening a little. I think it's fine. Should be getting early in the morning. That's never stopped. Mimir. Open solitude. Dude, really? Where does this go? Where does this go? I'm doing 100% run, but there's still a lot I don't know that I'm going to learn, and that's, that's why we're doing it. Okay. Wh what? Dude! Did you know this? That's insane! Back at the market, you know they sell tomatoes! Not spiced vine, though. Vine? Why do I why do I say vine? But don't you have something else I might want? No. Oh yes. No, I. Secret family recipe. Oh no, I've done it now. The only good thing my father Octi have ever did. In fact, it's so good, no one else in Skyrim even tries to make any. Wander like you need. How are your sets? Very brisk. When the snow sets in. No, I thought I could buy. Okay, so we're just not doing well today. Uh, some interesting people. Not lately. Can I not trade? Plenty of fresh fish for you. So they've set up shop, but they're not ready to trade. Uh, it's nine. Are you not supposed to sell me things? Okay, now I could sell. Okay. Wait, yes, I heard. I heard tomato. Thank you. That was a little weird. Seven tomatoes. Seven tomatoes to rule Come them back all. When you figure out how to spend money. I just Lessons bought new. seven tomatoes. Ah, yet another oh. new face. You're new. I'm from Hammerfell, you see. I can hardly keep track of all the people Finest I've been fishing. meeting. I've been traveling all over. Even been to Helgen. Where the dragon attacked? We've heard rumors of death and, and fire from the skies. But no real news. The rumors are all true. Then we should soon be selling arrows by the bushel. A sword is no good against a dragon. Straight from the fjord. I don't know. You're a long way from home then. Aye, but I'll be here in solitude for longer Spice still. Fiata's skill as a Fletcher drew me to this place. I wanted to learn. And there is still much of Skyrim I wish to see. I hear there is a city, Windhelm, that is nearly white with... What do you call it? Oh yeah, snow. And far to the west lies a ruin. Volskyg. Inside, there's said to be a wall, black as night, and it speaks in the ancient dragon tongue. There are wonders in this place I never dreamed imaginable. Oh, was that a dragon? I think it was an eagle. Good to talk to a fellow traveler. Yeah, you too, man. Yes? 
I'm Roland? I'm running errands at the moment. Errands at the moment. Visit, visit you, you at the Temple of the Divines. Rush, well, rush, I got rush. other business to attend to. Now, Brilling Silver... Oh, should I... Should I go perform theft at the Blue Palace? Yes, I should. But it's important to blend in. And a refined man does not carry around the Dwarven Mace of Flames, nor does he carry around the shield. But this makes me too heavy to run. Belrand. I, I might have to do the leather boots of hauling. Are they fashionable, though? It's actually still not enough. I'm going to have to equip something more heavy on my head. That's still... Oh. I, I can't win today. I can't get the fashion I want. Do I get to keep it? You just need nah, to take something here. Mimir many lives. Give him a death hound collar and maybe he'll put it on himself. Whatever just keeps him happy and accepting. Staff of... You want an empty staff? Do you want two empty staves? Good. Now... It's fashion time. I kind of dig in the leather boots, though. We're just kind of bringing our own style to it all. No time to play tag with the kids. We got devious deeds to do. Radiant Raymonds has gotten me the perfect outfit. I'll just blend right in. Won't even bat an eye. But I'll be looking at Bryling. Who's Bryling? Have we had? M Wait, I know you. Nope. <laughs> Have we had much interaction with this Bryling? Oh, we'll find out. They're right here. Wait. Do you have business with I don't think we have. I can always find time to share a word with a warrior. I've heard the Empire plans to levy a tax. Did he? A uh, Pactor asked me to deliver a message. Is everything all right? I've not heard from Sorley or Pactor in some time. Everything is fine. The shipment will be here soon. That's good news. I was starting to fear something had happened. You have my thanks. It's been an honor. Right, th that was a quest we gotten further back for coming in, talking with Bryling from one of the nearby... There's a lot going on here. What, what happened here? Was this me? I don't think this was me. Okay, so the matter of theft. Alright. Now, I think being seen by the target affects the chance. But if I'm successful, Silver Garnet Ring. Alright. She's gonna go somewhere and we're gonna go full stealth mode. I know it's sad leaving behind the beauty of that gear, but we're just gonna do it. We have the ring of minor deft hands. We have the necklace of minor deft hands. And that's gonna help a little bit. Then I'm just gonna mosey along. You, my friend, need oh, she just wanted to sit down over there. Well, do you go somewhere else, Bryling? Somewhere that's not the center of the room? Because it doesn't feel very stealthy. You feeling me? I don't got, like, any invisibility or anything of the sort, do I? I don't... I don't think so. This is alteration. Telekinesis. I can impress her with the telekinesis and then do some sleight of hand. She'll never see it coming. Alright. Miss Fair Plus Me. Got her! Thank you very much! That's the ring. Then we're just gotta bring that back to Delvin. Ha oh, hello. Who are you? Are you my gallant hero? Oh. Have you come to whisk me away to a life of adventure oh. and romance? Got the wrong guy. I'm going out. Back to solitude. Mission complete. Excellent. Let's get that out of here. We have lights out. We gotta return to Jari Ra. I'm going to postpone that for now. Then we gotta return to Mercer Frey. Then really, the man who cried wolf should be about the only thing here, other than East Empire shipping mats, Delvin, and Vittoria Vici. All right, let's do that then. As she mows it on down, she is by the East Empire Company warehouse. Let's go there. Then we're gonna make our way Wait, to Wolf Skull Cave, methinks. And I think 
I would like to do that with a sneeze, sneeze, sneeze transition. <gasps> Achoo! All right. Hey, there's Jari Ra. No trouble. Um, uh, talk to you later. We need to postpone that quest so that we can do another quest first, and that's what we're gonna do for the executioner in town. If you want a horse or Catla, if you're looking for work, I can help you. I'm gonna go talk to Gaiman because I do want a horse. One horse, every city. To ask you to stop. Don't worry about it. Won't happen again. Never, ever. Where is she? Hello. What? Oh, you, you're one of those, huh? Standing just far enough back so that I can't get to you. Oh, there, there we go. Hmm? Sorry, I was lost in thought. I'm planning my wedding, you see. So many details to work out. <sighs> Hope it'll be a beautiful wedding. But San asked me to check on her shipment of spices. If she wants to pay the 2,000 gold tariff, then we'll be all set. Um... Yvette can't afford a tariff. She can barely afford her stands. I suppose I could make an exception. I do like her spiced wine. Fine. Tell Yvette's son her shipment will be brought up to Solitude shortly. Nice. This is also a perfect opportunity for me to do this. So, it's the snake tongue achievement, I believe it's called, which is to persuade, bribe, and intimidate a person. And that's definitely things we've done across the chan- uh, across the series, but I just haven't- I haven't forgotten to- I have forgotten to update it. And now, it is done. Praise be the Mistfire. So that's nice, that's some more completion as well. Ignore Jarry Raw for now, and I think I kinda wanna get a horse. I want to talk to a vet San, and then I want to talk to another San, Octave? Is that his name? Because he's got a quest for me, and I completely forgot about it. Hey, everybody! <gasps> Excuse me, Frederica, is, the, is that leak? Is this about the sta- oh. oh, oh. You got business yes. at the stables? Yes, I do. Hmm. Work hard for the future, and leave the past be. That's my motto. How long have you been a stable master? But about eight years now. I used to be a mercenary, but one trip to Ravenscar Hollow cured me of that. There's hag ravens in that cave with talons like daggers. They'll open your bowels quick as you wink if you let them get close. A creature yeah. like that'll make a man think long and hard about what he wants out of life. Yeah. Can I buy a horse? That's what I'm here for. What are you offering? Here's my offer. Good enough for me. It's the one with the saddle. Ah yeah. We're heading up to solitude. You should stop to check out the view on your way. Don't worry, I'm oh, taking in the view as we go. So, Mimir many lives this horse or Mimir many lives this horse? <sighs> Decisions. All right, we're gonna do Mimir many lives this horse. <laughs> Sorry. Where did the other horse come from? I think she had a name at some point, like Alisif. Was uh, was it? Who can say these things? Why name something that has a short life expectancy? Now then, we're gonna take take the horse right on up to the gates, let a vet San know, talk to Active San, and then our solitude adventures for now are pretty good. So we can start thinking once we do the little um, wolf skull business, we can start thinking about where we go from there. Where, where's my horse going? I will see about that. We need to go Octaves. Is that not the old man? Is he not here at the Winking Stever? We're the only people around the evening. Agreed. He might be here in Fletching the evening. Ah, oh, there he is. is. Take my advice. But Never gamble. Damn, Ernsker has, has me in God. debt up to the eyes. You're in debt to Ernsker? Too many drinking games, too many bets. And I'm too old to ever raise the coin on my own. What if I talk to Inskur? He's a stubborn oaf. I don't know what good it'll do. You should speak to my daughter, Yvette. She's the brains of the family. I will speak to your daughter, Yvette. Because she's the brains of the family. Does that now get automatically? It does not. So, let's go find Ernskur. Let's go find Yvette. This is the typical go talk to someone and sort something out quest because people can't sort out their own 
God's troubled issues. Hey, Evet. Wanderer like you needs a little fire in the veins. Some spiced wine? The East Empire Company is sending up your spices. Thank you so much. I swear it's a fight with them every shipment. Here's something for your troubles. Two spice wine and 25 gold. Good luck out there. Seems right. like a tough time to be wandering Skyrim. Yeah, but now I got wine. Keep so, you know. Ernskir. Where might he be? Talk to... Castle? Now here's a man I'm glad to see. Yeah, Greta. <laughs> I don't know what that sound was. Das. Oh. That's a shout. Oh. Like the graybeards on their mountain. That was a new response. Thank you. I gotten very used to the old one. Now then. I'm telling you. Oh boy. Criminal steps into Castle Dower. He'd be insane. Things don't go too well. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my oh, Tolias and Ricky is going over the same Every thing as usual. Marthar? Oh, not Marthar. I'm, when I was a young rascal, I broke a man's arm with a single punch. Of course, I had a horseshoe hidden in my glove. I'd like to forgive Octave's debts. Debts are debts. Either he pays them, or his kind do. He's an old man. Let it go. Fine. You sound like a priest of Mara, but I get your point. Tell him to forget about the gold. Your sword arm strong. Sword arm strong. General. That's me. You people and your damn yards. Oh, I can't. Sir? That's fine. I didn't want it anyway. Too far ahead. I'm a I'm a tomato guy now. If I'm a tomato guy. Before we go to Wolf Skull Cave, there is something we should consider. That is the fact that I can. Hold on. I'm pressing everything except for the buttons I'm supposed to press. That is the fact. That we're not exactly light right now, so we should sell off some stuff. Some barrels. Oh, cabbage. We should sell off some stuff and we should put away some things. Make ourselves a little safe drawer, ah, methinks. Just kidding. just kidding, he says. Let's start with low value to weight stuff. I kind of want to save Nordic Mace. Glass Mace, Glass Battle Axe. I Think? Oh boy, no, but I want to keep these things. Oh, that's okay, that's the issue. Can't sell that. However, Imperial Light Helmet, Nordic Carved, I think we're keeping. Who did Thalma robes can go? Oh, we have lots of glass that can go. And then one of those, and then. Okay. Lead on, then. Hello, Byron. Byron? Hold on. Byron. Byron. It's. Same. We got two people in the same city named Belran and Byran. No All right. Take a look. Didn't think about it. They were their brothers. Now, I would like to sell, my good sir. What will you give me for this? Ah, or maybe this, or this, or this, or this, or this, or this. What about a fine glass armor? Hmm. I'm not gonna give this to you for a discount, though. However, that's perfect. Very good. Return anytime you need arms or armor. I Mind just might. Never rests. Okay. That helps us out a little. Do I get to keep it? Then I think if nah, I could if kidding. I could just move I have a cast iron pot. Can you please I, I'm not I, I'm I shouldn't be allowed to have these things. He's just gaping. He's wondering as much as I am what I'm what I'm up to. If I wanted to carry something, I would need to equip something. No, but I, I can't unequip the... Oh, hold on. It's it's super obvious. It's Thieves' Guild Armor and then Leather Boots of Hauling. F solved it. Puzzle complete. Yeah. Papa says I won't see Rob here anymore. But he wouldn't tell me why not. Why? Why do you think, Minette? I don't want to be the one to break it to you, but... um, Don't want you to lose your head over it. Said trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Hmm. Let's have a little look, Saima. You gonna buy some of my stuff? You are. Is that not a terrific deal that we are about to make? Yes. Take my glass armors. Oh, yes. The money. It's coming in. I am feeling fine. Alright. That is good. Uh, 
Dude, this blacksmith Bayron, what do you know about him? Baron's my husband. Baron. He works the forge up at Castle Dower. I barely see him nowadays, what with him filling orders for the army. Uh, excuse me, is that... Are you, are you selling tomatoes? Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. By the gods, five tomatoes. Some leek. Oh, it's perfect. Back to bits and pieces anytime. Yes, you now have a customer for life. With that, we could go to the apothecary. Wasn't it? There was one shop that I was surprised were buying the things they were buying. Uh, hey, Angeline. Welcome. So you're interested in my. You're the best. Uh, yes, she bought dragon bones. Good. Don't forget me next time you need I won't money. forget you. You might forget me though. My Lessons papa says I'm gregarious. <laughs> Just like him. He says it means smart. But my brother says he's what do you need? That's a very gregarious thing to say. We should make food. Come on in. We should cook up food. some freaking vegetable soup before we go yes. on the roads. Do I need to talk to you? Yeah, we do. I'm too old to work. That don't Sometimes make me too old to drink. Earn scars agreed to forgive your debt. You've done a fine thing for me. You know, I used to be quite a warrior in my day. Let me show you a thing or two. You should speak to my daughter, Avet. All She's right. the brains of the family. Already have. It's true. Now then, we need a place to store away some things. We're good on the money front, so I don't need to think too much about selling it at the moment. <sighs> Generally, drawers are safe. Or was it cupboards that were safe? Um, I, I, I feel... Oh, Barbus, you had to place your butt in my face. Do we have some standard drawers, or are we too good for them in solitude? Alright, wardrobe might be safe. I am going to do a quick... Ooh. I'm going to do a quick test on this wardrobe to see if it's safe. Uh, which uh, basically involves me doing a save, adding something, waiting, moving away, coming back, and then seeing if it's there, and then loading the save again. So it's not very interesting, but I'm just going to check that out, and uh, I'll be here with the results. Okay, it turns out that it is safe storage, so I've gone ahead and placed away quite a few things in here. Just making us a little lighter on our feet. I've even placed away quite a few potions because I know I don't use them too much in the Magicka and Stamina department. I could use an anti barbus potion anytime though. Hold on, um, there we go. Figured it out. I also took everything from Belrand, so he's back to his starting stage, but that's okay. I mean, we do have to deal with his face and that's... It's a bit of a shame, but it will allow us to carry more. Dude, Lissette is just going off. And we're going out on new adventures. Oh, freaking armored battle troll? Yes. I think we chose right in the Dawn Guard versus the... Won't happen again. With that, I was actually considering if we should get a... Ooh, horsey. I was considering if we should get a carriage, go home, place everything at home, and then come back. But that, that sounds like effort. So, frankly, that's not what we're going to do. We're just going to stash it there for now, and everything's just going to work out. Now, there is actually a little water mill that I've not gotten on the map. That's, that's, that's not according to, that's, I don't like it. Not very good. I've also figured out that the missing link right now when it comes to our ingredients is actually cabbage. Cabbage is the weakest link by far. So... I'm gonna have... oh, nothing there. Say goodbye to your home, horsey. I'm just gonna ride a horse for a while since it's a nice... Distraction? It's it's something new. It's something a little different. And we're gonna pass by a leak. That's right. Now then. Alright, horsey, it's fine. Don't complain. We're going to a new farm at the Solitude Sawmill. Ah, yes. Leaks and but oh, there's so much. Living outside the walls is a risk. I, I, oh, I have to. I just, I can't, I can't be stopped right now. 
But this, once we get some cabbage now, I mean, we could make a couple of vegetable soups now, but... Things are looking up for us. Just imagine Mimir dying in a cave. And some other adventurer coming a few years later, finding his corpse, looting him for all his goods, and it's just like 50 potatoes. He just stands there scratching his head. It's a good visual. Oh, <gasps> cabbage. Hey, psst, bell run. Cabbage. I got cabbage. Pretty good. Pretty hype overall. All right, Solitude Sawmill. Are there any quests here for the people? I only saw... Oh, hey. What do you want? Uh, don't want to buy mm -hmm. lumber with that attitude. Karag Grow Sure Cool. A, a, a name spoken in the black tongue itself. In the land of Mordor. That's what it sounds like. And we've left the horse. That's fine. I'm sure the horse is going to have a great life at the Solitude Sawmill. Really just... Oh. But if I had a horse, I couldn't go swimming in the sunset. And that's just no good. Alright. Mimir's just doing a little underwater raid right here. It's going to come up on the shores. Like it's nobody's business. There we go. Now then. Wolf Skull Cave. Now that I have left my companions behind, I'm ready to get ambushed by something nasty. Hopefully they'll be nice with me, though. Oh, it's actually... We're actually coming up on it. Speaking of Meridia's shrine up there, uh, some of you pointed out that, yes, right inside the door there is a unique, rather unique, imperial helmet that we went by and did not get. Because we've already gotten it. If you remember, we've actually found this helmet at a shrine already, so we don't need to get it, but good looking out. Now here we got some Thalmor. Am I feeling in a feisty mood? I'm feeling a little feisty, honestly. Have you have you seen Belrand? Oh, he doesn't have his stuff now, though. I guess I'm not feeling that feisty. If they were wearing glass armor, I might have considered it, but... Not that feisty. That's okay. Gotta pick our battles. Oh boy, and here come the Imperials. Everybody's just out on the march. Out so strong, it's strong and capable. That's me. Am I Legion material, though? I'm not so sure. We're gonna have to play a part in that war eventually. But for now, we'll travel the land and do adventure. That sounds much better. Something's here. Oh, <gasps> Skellington! Out of the forest. This is a perfect chance for several reasons. We have Jusargo's Flame Cloak Scroll that I need to use. <laughs> Alright, uh... I think they have a bit of a side effect. Because that was a boom. And we also have Dawnbreaker. I decided to put away the Dwarven Mace of Flames and go with Dawnbreaker. Because I want to use something new. And I'm not going to use it unless I also put away the Dwarven Mace. Wolf Skull Cave with Jusargo's Flame Scroll and Dawnbreaker. This is actually going to be pretty cool. But I think this is where we should conclude the episodes. Oh, it's, a per it's the perfect episode ending cliff. It just... Oh. Because when you stand... Right here, you know what you get? A cliffhanger. Well, everybody, uh, it's been an adventurous day, kind of a, a bit of a different day. It's been kind of a miscellaneous things here and there day, but hey, I hope it's still been entertaining. Thank you for staying tuned after like 84 episodes now, and we're slowly chipping away, almost one third done with the objective. So yeah, just a couple more years, we'll get there. Uh, some objectives are going to take longer, some are going to be rather quick once we do them, and we're going to see a big jump in that progression, so yeah, I'm curious to see where it goes. Just, if I had to do a guess, I, I did this early on in the Champion of Serial Challenge where I guesstimated that we're going to have around 250 episodes, and I think we ended exactly at 250? Was that how it was? Or was it 200? I don't remember, because the main series ended at 200. But I was pretty on the money! It's just I just wanted to brag about that. 
So I think for this one, given that we're almost at 100 now, we're almost a third. 300. Mm, between 250 and 300. What do you think? Let's see a couple years down the line who's closest. Have a still good day. Take care and stay awesome. But most important, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.